What is up, everybody? It is the Enneasism here today, showing you a gameplay commentary on the map Dome, the best map in the entire world. But uh, I ended up going 48 and 4 in this gameplay, and at one point I was like 30 and 1, so I do really good in this game. And uh, today, I want to tell all you about, and uh, I want to teach all you how to do uh, really well in just any game or if you want to go for really high uh, scoring games so uh, if you in my opinion one of the best classes you can use uh, in the entire game is this one right here like you can see I'm using the uh, scar right here but you can use it uh, you can use this class with any uh, gun you want preferably the assault rifle as it uh, is good in every single situation except that it is not as good as uh, SMGs at close range gunfights but uh, it is still the best choice you can go for and when you're picking an assault rifle you should uh, pick one that is good based on the map but you can see here on a dome I'm using the scar because it is extremely good for long range and close range but if you're playing on a map like interchange uh, you probably want to be using like the type 95 as it is an extremely long range map so you can easily like base almost snipe people with a type 95 and get a bunch of easy kills and do really well and uh, I'm using the silencer right here on the on the uh, scar, and that really helps if you're playing on a small map, ah, small map like uh, Dome, or Bootleg, or uh, Sea Town, Mission, all those maps, all those small ones. And then uh, if you use if you're playing on a map like Interchange, uh, Downturn, uh, like Arcaden, or any of those maps, you probably want to be. You don't need the silencer, but it would help a lot if you used it. But uh. The silencer is uh, much more useful on a small map because if people don't see you on the radar, you're easily able to go around them if they don't know you where where you are and just surprise them with a kill uh, after you kill another enemy. Because with the silencer, they don't see any of your gunshots that are being fired, so that's really helpful. Um, basically, uh, also the, one of the only problems with going for really high score games is if you run out of ammo. So uh, if you don't want to run it run out of ammo then you would want to use scavenger or scavenger pro and that always helps with picking up scavenger packs to do really well except the only thing that you'd be sacrificing for uh putting scavenger pro or just scavenger on your class is slate of hand and with slate of hand it allows you to reload faster and with the pro version you can swap your weapons faster so that's the only problem uh like if you were playing on dome right here like i am uh you'd probably want to be using slate of hand as you need to reload faster to get into more gunfights that come up either right next to you or even far away on a uh, dome because there are like medium to long range lines of sight on this map but uh f you still need uh, a lot of ammo on this map to uh do well and actually get like uh kill streaks and get really high scoring games but it, I, in my opinion, it's not really worth it. Uh, like if you want to stay uh, using slate of hand on a map uh, like this, but you also want to have the extra ammo uh, and a silencer, then you should use the attachments weapon proficiency to put on silencer and extended mags on the same uh, gun, which would have helped me like crazy in this gameplay if I had the uh, silencer and extended mags on my scar. But uh, I didn't have it unlocked yet, so I was using this silencer, and I still did really well. So you can see just how helpful the silencer is in this gameplay. But uh, you can also just use extended mags by itself, because it's still really good. Uh, you can use it on a uh, long-range map, like interchange or any of that stuff, combined with kick as a weapon proficiency, because you won't be needing attachments if you only have the extended mag attachment on your gun. So that's helpful if you're trying to get some high... Uh, score games and then the perks you probably want to be using uh you can use quick draw on a small map like dome which would be real help really helpful if you need to aim in or down your sights faster but in this gameplay i'm actually using hardline uh so i can achieve my uh kill streaks in less time so i can get more kills every game and also with less kills so i put usually put uh hardline on if i don't really feel very like confident in me getting uh, a kill streak like the uh, predator missile, which I know is a really easy uh, kill streak to get, or uh, the tackle copter, or uh, any of those. And then, um, yeah, hardline. I use that. Uh, I use a pro version and the two assist, kind of as a kill. So it's also easy to get a kill streak with the pro version of hardline because it adds on to my point streak for every two assists I get. And then the third perk I use in this gameplay, 
which helps me like crazy is stalker and uh if you don't already know with stalker when while you uh, are aiming down sights with stalker uh you're able to basically uh move faster so you can basically uh like glide uh across the map while you're aiming down sights with stalker so you're able to glide around corners uh so you can easily kill people uh and while you're aiming down sights because you'll be moving faster than they are so you can even strafe uh, an enemy if you're shooting at them at close range or even medium range so that they won't be able to uh, kill you and you can dodge all their bullets so uh, you can actually kill them whereas if you didn't have stalker and you were strafing uh, more bullets would land on you and you would die and then also if you're gliding around a corner without stalker uh, you probably end up dying because you'd be moving so slow that you wouldn't have the edge on your enemy to actually kill them so uh, you should use stalker if you're trying to go for a high kill uh, game on a uh, it works on any map, so you should be using Stalker always. Or if you really uh, don't like using Stalker, then you should use Steady Aim or even the Pro version of Steady Aim because with Steady Aim, you're able to hip fire. And uh, with hip firing, you're able to get to hip firing faster than aiming down sights no matter what. So if you can hip fire, that's great. And since it has a le less uh, spray area, <laughs> like uh, sl uh, smaller crosshairs while you use Steady Aim, then uh, that's always good. And especially if you have Steady Aim Pro, you're able to ready your weapon faster after uh, basically doing anything like sprinting or even knifing. So that's extremely helpful when you're sprinting and you see a guy right in front of you, you can stop sprinting almost immediately and just hip fire them with Steady Aim or you can aim down sights with a quick draw or even just aim down sights normally with any other perk like Hardline and uh, kill them. So that's basically the class setup you want to use for going to high, for, uh, high uh, kill games. And also I just want to say that if you are really like going for an extremely high kill game like a hundred plus kills or even on uh, MWB or even two MWBs then you should play a game like Ground War that is as it is much uh, longer and uh, it allows you to get much more kills in one game so I really hope you enjoyed the video if this helped you out in any way please give it a like and if you want any more tips like this then please subscribe to our channel as I will be trying to upload a video every single day as I I'm almost sure I will be able to do. So, uh, thanks, and I'll see you later.